Hello everyone. So today we begins with the cerebrospinal fluid. CSF is clear, colorless and transparent fluid. It circulates through cavity of the brain, subarachnoid space and central canal of spinal cord and it's a part of extracellular fluid ECF. Properties of CSF volume approximately 150 ml rate of formation approximately 0.3 milliliter per minute specific gravity 1.005 and reaction alkaline composition of csf water 99.13 percentage solids 0.87 percentage or the solids which include the organic substances and inorganic substances solids which include organic substances and inorganic substances organic substances these are the proteins amino acids sugar cholesterol urea uric acid creatinine and lactic acid whereas the inorganic substances include sodium calcium potassium magnesium chlorides phosphate bicarbonates and sulfates lymphocytes in the csf it is around 6 per cubic ml csf is a part of extracellular fluid therefore it contains more amount of sodium than potassium it contains some lymphocytes but when the csf is secreted by ventricles it does not contain any cell no lymphocyte at the time of secretion but the lymphocytes are added when it flows in the spinal cord it is formed by the choroid plexus which is situated within the ventricles the choroid plexus are tufts of capillary projections which are present inside ventricles and covered by pyometer and ependymal coverings mechanism of formation it is formed by the process of secretion it does not involve ultrafiltration or dialysis it's an energy dependent formation mechanism an active transport mechanism is involved in the secretion of the csf circulation of csf once the csf is formed later it is circulated formation of csf in the lateral ventricles from here it will go to the foramen of monero later it will go to the third ventricle after that aqueduct salvius fourth ventricle foramen of magendi and foramen of lasca cisterna magna and cisterna lateralis later it will enter into the subarachnoid space and from subarachnoid space it will enter into the cerebral hemispheres as well as to the spinal cord so this is the steps through which the circulation of the csf has been occurred functions of csf having the protective function it act as a buffer and it protects the brain from the shock if brain receives severe blow counter cop injury may takes place that means for example that is our head and here it is our brain so that is the skull bone and inner this one it is the brain inner part all right and here it is the stool this is the part which is brain this part it is the skull bone and here it is the stool when our skull bone is going to strike on the stool what is happening the brain will move on the back side it's a counter cop injury that means injury or the brain injury is present on the this portion so it's a counter cop injury regulation of cranial content volume it is very essential because when the substances are absorbed into the venous sinus intracranial pressure is raised intracranial pressure in turn interferes with the cerebral circulation and it causes asphyxia so how it is going to be prevented it is prevented by greater absorption of csf to give space for increase in cranial contents medium of exchange csf is the medium through which substances like nutritive substances waste materials are going to be exchanged and this exchange occur between the blood and brain tissues 
blood cerebrospinal fluid barrier it's a barrier between the blood and cerebrospinal fluid it exists in the choroid plexus where the site of formation and secretion of the csf it is similar to blood brain barrier and uh, this barrier allows the movement of only those substances which are allowed by the blood brain barrier so in the brain there are two barriers one it is the blood brain barrier and second one there is a blood csf barrier substances which can pass through blood cerebrospinal fluid barrier oxygen carbon dioxide water glucose amino acids electrolytes drugs such as l dopa 5 hydroxy tryptamine sulfonamides tetracycline and other lipid soluble drugs nitrous oxide which are lipid soluble and other lipid soluble substances can pass through the blood csf barrier substances which can't pass through the blood csf barrier these are the injurious chemical agents pathogens such as bacteria drugs such as penicillin and the catecholamines dopamine also can't pass therefore parkinsonism is treated with l dopa instead of dopamine because the l dopa can cross the blood csf barrier and enter into the brain and it reaches to the specific area of the brain where it is converted to the dopamine that's why parkinsonism is treated with the l dopa instead of dopamine and dopamine cannot cross the blood csf barrier and bile pigments which are also not going to pass through the blood csf barrier